He too is Brody Dingle and Cody Steers, who is happy to finally be back at it. Uh, I'm Cody Steers, 25 years old, and I'm from Sheffield, Tasmania. Yeah, pretty excited to be back into the timber sports with a, a bit of a delay, but um, that's always good to uh, get back into it for sure. Not knowing the times, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a game changer, I suppose. Uh, generally, you know, at the football sports, you're, you're backstage and you're looking at all the times and working out where you're going to be, especially with the point system. Three, two, one, go! All right, here we go with the Brody and Cody Saw Show. Brody Dingle on the left-hand side, Cody Steers on the right. Cody Steers has got a real good stroke going on right now. He is using that entire saw. Brody Dingle, on the other hand, is having a little bit of a slow cut there at the top, and you can see Cody Steers. Oh, Cody cuts that cookie a little bit short, but he stays on the block and gets a full cookie at the end. The one aspect I wanted to focus on really went well, like through the bottom of the cut, I finished really strong. Over the top of the cut I was using a, a freshly filed saw and yeah, just took a little bit to get to get acquainted with it again and get comfortable with it through the top, but that's the way it goes. With our top four athletes up next, let's find out Three, if he's gone fast two, enough. One, go! Couple of boys on the Chopperoos team, Glenn Gillum and Braden Meyer, and both very, very strong in this discipline. Braden Meyer on the left-hand side, all black, putting everything he's got into it. Glenn Gillum keeping right up with them, though, on the right-hand side of your screen in the blue. It's hard to tell who's going to drop that cookie first, but it's going to be Glenn Gillum at 1540 and Braden Meyer at 1574. How close was that? Wasn't too bad. I'm pretty happy how it went, but if we get a replay, you'll see a little diddly on the way. And it probably cost me a second overall, but hey, it's COVID friendly round, so just happy to be here. In heat four, we have Mitch Argent up against Lawrence O'Toole. Three, two, one, go! This is a particularly strong discipline for Lawrence O'Toole on the right-hand side of your screen. Mitch Argent, no slouch though, and he looks like he's getting right into it with some pretty fast strokes. Lawrence O'Toole using the entire length of that saw. Mitch Argent, Lawrence O'Toole, who's got this one? It's another one that's going to be hard to determine. It's going to be Mitch Argent just by the hair on his chinny chin chin. Holy smokes, folks. Yeah, well, I didn't hang up, so that's always a bonus. I just felt like I was in nowhere land for a bit, just pulling it back and forth. I almost felt like I was in the Champions Trophy. Wasn't really on top of it, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, and now I'm ready for the springboard, so I'm looking forward to that. That means that Argent and O'Toole claim third and fourth in the single buck. Only 34 hundredths of a second separate Gillum in first place from Meyer in second place. Let's take a look to see just how close they were in the head-to-head. -head. And you can see here, Meyer really fast, frantic strokes. Gillum opting for those longer strokes and using a little bit more of the saw. Really evenly matched up here though. Wow, look at how close this was between these two guys. That 34 hundredths of a second gives Gillum the overall rankings lead with 43 points. O'Toole takes second place, closely followed by Meyer and Argent.